Assalamu alaikum. It is another day and I'm still vlogging. I woke up very late today. It's a uh, Zohar time. It's because I slept late. So after last night, I kept packing until like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. And then at 5 when I was going to bed, I was like, oh, wait, there's like 45 minutes till Fajr. So I stayed up, prayed Fajr, then I went to sleep. And then I woke up at 12. So I got about six hours of sleep, alhamdulillah. And I woke up to this mess. And I have to deal with all of it because, well, I don't want to live like this. So I got a lot to do today. So I felt really overwhelmed uh, because I felt like I had a lot to do. So I did a whole to-do list. I'm just going to go through it one by one, hopefully. Crossing it out will make me feel better. Because right now I feel super anxious that I have like so much to do. And it's like stressing me out. I was going to go to the gym, but then all of this has like seemingly piled up on me. And I just need to get it out of the way. Then maybe inshallah I can go later. But also the sun's out. You know what? I'm going to go out. Uh, I'm going to pray Zohar. Then I'm going to go. And get coffee from somewhere outside instead of make one at home. So that way I get some fresh air, get some steps, get some sun. And then I'll feel better about starting the work. Also, if you saw yesterday's like end of the video, all of this stuff was meant to be dealt with with my sisters. This morning I spoke to my mom and she said, um, a lot of this stuff, like the girls probably won't want. But it's perfectly good to like donate to people back home. So... What I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to take it all with me to Vancouver and then and then uh, we'll sort it out all there. And then whenever my parents come to like see us, they can take it back with them. So all I need to do right now is put it back, essentially. Buddy boy, what are you doing? Stop it. Okay, I mean, this is just my life now. I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but I feel like a different person at the end of the day compared to the start of the day. Not like I have two personalities, but I think it's getting tired makes me feel like I'm, like I'll make different kind of decisions at the end of the day compared to the start. I'm just wondering like what dumb thing am I going to do today, you know? Okay, maybe it's just me. You know, typically Mississauga is kind of lame compared to Toronto. But it has its moments. Until you look that way. <laughs> it's, it's just this. <laughs> so I was trying to decide where I want to get coffee from because can't go to Starbucks, can't go to Tim Hortons. There's a different Canadian uh, franchise around here called Second Cup. I'll probably go there. Got myself an Americano and it should be good in China. Oh, uh, also free Palestine. So I was gonna go here, but I just turned around and that's like the big mall. Should I just go there? No, I can't be asked. Where should I sit? I've just realized that I forgot to bring my regular glasses. So now I look like that guy. Coffee. So this is Celebration Square. There's an ice rink right now because it's cold. Uh, actually, maybe that's Celebration Square. I mean, this whole area is Celebration Square. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm enjoying the sun. Yeah. One downside is I have to keep my hand out for hold my coffee. Well, my hand's freezing now. But yeah, this is the this is the hub of Mississauga. It's uh, pretty chill. I like it. There's some Ronak here, you know, like it's busy, it's nice. 
instead of being in my apartment. Glad I left the house to come get some fresh air, get some steps, get some sun, get some coffee. Even though the coffee is not amazing. All right, heading back. Every sip I take of this, the worst it tastes. The worst? The worst it tastes. I'm sorry, second cup. Your Americano tastes like soap. I mean, their, their vanilla bean latte thing is quite nice, but, but this ain't it, bro. So I'm home now. Um, I just realized something. You know how I've been saying that I've been feeling lightheaded? I think it's the glasses I'm wearing. So I was wearing my, oh, a bunch of scratches and stuff on it. So these are really old glasses. These are from like 2018. And I think the number may not be correct. And I've been wearing them. There's something up with them because I was wearing these right now and these have the same number, but these are much newer and I don't, I don't feel that lightheaded thing. I think it's something with my eyes because I was looking yesterday because I noticed that whenever I move my eyes like quickly, like dart, dart, like dart, <laughs> whenever I move my eyes quickly, uh, I feel it a bit more, like I feel more lightheaded, but I was doing it in these sunglasses as well and it's gone, so I don't understand. All right, uh, it's been, I actually don't know how long it's been since I last picked up the camera, but it's been a while and I've been productive and I've got some things to cross out. And I thought maybe you wanna experience that with me because it's gonna be really satisfying. All right, so cross that out. I also uh, made a money-saving move and I no longer need to book a hotel. So that's pretty lit. Uh, what else? That was it. That was, that was not much. <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep going. Would you uh, believe me if I told you that it's past Maghrib? Probably, because why would I lie to you about that? I might, but I probably wouldn't. Where are we at? These two were full of clothes. And now it's in this box. And the reasoning behind that was basically, now I have two bags to put stuff in, like bed sheets and towels and all. So it's easy for me to deal with it. And also, when I take the stuff to my sister's place in Vancouver, then it's less stuff, like less pieces. So this should be better, I think, I hope. You know, uh, I've been I've been packing for so long, I almost forgot that I was vlogging. It's actually very like tiring, packing up like a whole, house apartment there's like a shocking amount of stuff that it just accumulates like i didn't buy anything specific for this apartment other than this kitchen island because without it this kitchen is like just very small i had already gotten rid of a lot of stuff when i moved from my old apartment to this one but even then packing away all this stuff is just so tiring like i don't even know how many hours i've been at this i feel like every time i make progress i open a drawer and i find another bunch of stuff that i haven't packed or i need to pack it's very like exhausting the other thing is i actually have a bit of a um time crunch basically tomorrow i'll be out all day uh for some work um, and day after tomorrow, I have some people coming to clean the apartment because I need to hand it back. I need it to be cleaned in a certain way because obviously like I'm using someone else's like space and the right thing to do would be to give it back to them in the same condition or as close to the same condition as I got it in. So I'm basically getting the place cleaned soon. And because of that, I really need to make sure that like a lot of this mess is dealt with. Look at all of this, man. It's just, it's just piled up while I'm like doing stuff. Oh, man. And Alhamdulillah, just like that, it's all cleared up. I managed to put those back there so they're a bit out of the way. Uh, this still pending. I'll do that tomorrow, inshallah. And then, let's see. This area is a bit more habitable now. It's funny, I still have like 
three, four more weeks till the moving company comes to take everything. But from my experience, like actually doing all the packing and organizing ends up taking a lot longer than you think. And so with that in mind, I'm consciously doing everything as early and quickly as possible. Alhamdulillah, I made a lot of progress this weekend, so I'm happy about that. Especially because during the week, I don't have much time to do this because I work and just general like life stuff as well to deal with. I am feeling like very fatigued and tired. I still need to pray Isha. It's 11.30 p.m. So I'm quickly going to pray, inshallah. Then I'm going to shower, get into bed, and start again tomorrow. Let's actually see what all I got done. So I ordered my food, packed the kitchen stuff, hallway drawer, done, almost. Actually, this is pretty good. I can do this one right now. And that one's kind of like pending and the bathroom inshallah i'll do tomorrow so after looking at that i'm actually pretty happy with myself alhamdulillah i think what i will do before i go to pray i'm just gonna make a few notes on things that i need to do that i tend to forget until i see it again if i just make a note of that stuff i don't have to have it on my mind and if i can get it off my mind then it won't you know be such a toll because i'm not gonna lie yeah i'm, I'm stressed i'm stressed but this is like a necessary stress, you know, because if I wasn't stressed and I was too laid back, too chilled out, too relaxed, then there's a there's a worry that stuff won't get done, that should get done, you know. With that in mind, I'm going to just keep going one step at a time, inshallah, and everything will be fine. Anyway, I will see you guys. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I'll see you guys on the next one, inshallah. Thank you for watching and Allah is.